everybody, welcome to my channel, to another video podcast. I hope you are doing really great. Today we are going to be talking about how to calculate crosswind component in three different ways. So, let's suppose first of all that we are on final approach, on a runway, and we also have available all the wind information needed. The first method of calculation, which is the most precise, is a method that involves trigonometry. So, let's say that if theta is the angle between our track and the wind uh, direction and W is the wind speed from uh, trigonometry we have that uh, the crosswind component will be if we form that triangle here we have that the crosswind component let's say it crosswind component will be will be the wind speed multiplied by sinus theta so an example, let's say that we are on runway 07 and the wind is from 100 degrees, 1 for knots. Then the angle theta between our track and uh, the wind uh, direction will be uh, 30 degrees since we have from 100 degrees comes the wind and our track is in 070 so with that in mind the crosswind component will be 1 for nodes the wind speed multiplied by sinus of 30 degrees which is going to be 7 knots of course with uh, this method for random values of angle theta a calculator is needed the second method of calculation is an approximation uh, of the previous method 1 so In that case, for angle between our track and the wind direction, if it's 30 degrees, we have to remember that the crosswind component is going to be 50% of the wind speed. In case that that angle is 45 degrees, then the crosswind component will be approximately equal to 70% of the wind speed and in case that angle is 60 degrees then the crosswind component will be approximately equal to 90% of the wind speed and finally if the angle is greater than 60 degrees so the crosswind component will be approximately equal to the total wind speed for example we have let's say again runway 07 and wind from 130 degrees 11 knots Therefore, in that case, the crosswind component, since that angle is 60 degrees, will be approximately 90% of the wind speed, which is 9.9, .9, let's say, 10 knots. 
Finally, the last method is a gross approximation method. It is an instrument uh, method and we just need to look our uh, DI, direction indicator. Let's get a direction indicator here. So let's say we are again on runway, we are on final approach for runway 07. And the wind is, uh, let's say, from 110 degrees, 180, 18 knots. So, in that case, the wind comes from the right. And we think that uh, the radius of the instrument, of the uh, direction indicator, is equal to the wind speed. So, the radius, this or this, we can think that is 80 knots. If the wind was from 160 degrees, it would be full crosswind, so it would be 18 knots. But now, it's from 110, which means that this, if we project it here, it is going to be, if here is the middle, 9, it is going to be around 11 or 12 nodes. So just by looking at the direction indicator and thinking of the wind direction on the direction indicator, we can have just the first look of how much is the crosswind component. So we can say that the crosswind component will be about 11 to 12 nodes. So this is a straightforward method and uh, we don't have to do any calculation in our minds. So guys, if you have any question or something to add, please write a comment below. Thank you very much for watching and have a fantastic day. I'll see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>